G'day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer. Today we're looking at Acts chapter 20 where Paul travels to Ephesus and in Acts chapter 20 we see that Paul on his last night in Ephesus preaches through the night because he wants to tell people about Jesus and there's a young man in the crowd crammed into this upper room uh, who's sitting in the windowsill and because Paul preaches on and on, he falls asleep around midnight and falls to his death from the third story window. Paul goes downstairs and prays for him and resurrects him and then goes back up and continues to preach. Acts chapter 20 is often cited as an example of why preaching for a long time is a bad idea. People will say, oh, don't preach too long. You may kill someone <clears throat> like in Acts 20. But in fact, I think it should be an example of the opposite. Eutychus is there not because he doesn't want to hear Paul. He's there because he does. He's probably spent the day working, then come home, heard that Paul is preaching the gospel, and he goes to hear. And Paul is preaching words of life, and Eutychus is hanging on to his every word until he can't take any more, and he falls asleep and falls to his death. But Paul resurrects him, not by the power of his preaching and not by the power of his entertainment value. Instead, he resurrects him by the power of Jesus Christ. And Eutychus is saved uh, not once from the first death, but twice through the preaching of the gospel. He's saved into eternal life with Jesus Christ. And that's good and great news. And that's what Paul is trying to do in his preaching. Paul leaves Ephesus uh, later that day, but he returns uh, through his travels to Ephesus and we get a bit of a taste about what Paul said when he preached or what motivated Paul while he was preaching. He says this in verse 24, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Friends, preaching is not about your entertainment. It's not about making you feel good about yourself. Instead, preaching is about your edification, helping you to grow as a person. It's about your sanctification, helping you grow more like Jesus. And ultimately, it's about your salvation, helping you to come to Jesus at the last day. So friend, I encourage you to think about what you're filling your life with. Are you filling your life with meaningless entertainment? Or are you filling your life like this battery pack behind me with the power of God's love and the power of God's grace? My prayer for you is that you continue to run your race with your eyes set firmly on Jesus and that you would not look for entertaining preaching, but that you would look for preaching that edifies you, that sanctifies you, and that ultimately saves you into eternal life. And so my prayer for you says this, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time.